on day nine. You may hear a little bit of background noise. It's because our cabin happens to be quite close to the mess hall. We left our hotel quite early, around 7 a.m., and went through the airport. Surprisingly, they didn't check our passport once, but they took away all of our water. We also were given these huge lunches in these present-like bags filled with three sandwiches each, which is more than we needed. Also, across our hotel, before we got into the bus, I found a dollar store, and their sign read, cheaper than Costco or Walmart, which I thought was hilarious. Thus, I had to take a picture, and I bought a little keychain there. We landed in Herkita and headed to our resort-like town. I took a couple photos on the way, of course, on the bus. And our bus itself was quite the vibrant little thing. It was this bright, bright orange, and even, you'll note, above the bathroom is this fake grass, which I wasn't sure why it was there, but funny nonetheless. We got to the marina and found our ship, the Harmony V, which I assume is the Harmony 5, but everyone refers to it as the Harmony V, so that's how I'll refer to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful ship. We first were greeted with a greeting drink and a hello from the hotel manager, so if we had any issues we'd go talk to him. Then we were shown to our cabins and given a little tour of them. They're quite tight, but nice nonetheless. Uh, my mother is doing a little vanna of the room there, and then these tight little bathrooms where it seems like the shower is the bathroom. We decided to go into town because we had many hours before dinner and before leaving, and the town was a little bit sad, but at the same time very interesting as most towns are. We did find an internet cafe, which was very, very useful. The keyboard was very interesting. It had all the Arabic language on it, which was neat. Although it was the stickiest keyboard I've ever met in my life. It was so frustrating trying to write emails. So I'd try and write and, it would be AD, because the N didn't work. And N is in a lot of words. A lot of words. And my words did not have ends today. It was a little bit frustrating, but totally dealable. Uh, we walked around a little more, but didn't really find that charm that we find in a lot of cities, which was too bad. So we walked back to the marina, chit chat on the boat with a couple of the women here, and found out that these other women had had these grand adventures. They had found these amazing shops full of spices and dyes, like turquoise, and they had these amazing vivid pictures. So we thought, you know what, we'll try again. We did find a little more the second time. It was definitely better than the first, but not by too much, unfortunately. We did find a random huge death mask, kind of looked like Tutankhamun, so I do a little Vanna White, as you can see here. We also ran into this little girl. We were walking down this one street, and this little girl saw us, and then we saw her run back into our house, so we thought, oh, maybe she's scared of us or something, because we're strange. And then she came running back out, and she was like, come, come please, come. So we went with her, and she led us sort of to her patio at her house, and her whole family was sitting there, and she was like, oh, picture? picture and so she wanted to take a picture with us and she was just giddy she was giggling and giggling and giggling we took a photo with her her parents took a photo with their cell phone and then her father was like do you mind if I also take a picture and I was like yeah sure go ahead I don't care I felt like a movie star it was kind of cool I liked it <laughs> and then I got a couple pictures of them as well mostly the daughter she was a very cute little girl and then their sons ended up coming out after that and being like, oh, where are you from? And it was obvious that they had been taking English in school. Then we walked around the sort of army barracks. From what we could tell, there were towers on each of the corners and the guards were waving at us, but we couldn't take pictures. And we passed this one area and one guy saw us and was like, oh! And then he turned to the other ones and then suddenly there were ten of them all going, I love you, I love you, welcome, welcome, how are you? blah blah blah, which was hilarious. I should have got a picture, but I just didn't have the conyas at the moment. So we continued walking, and I got a few more random pictures. Uh, there were kids playing in the street, which is very unsafe, but made for a nice picture. Am I a horrible person? Perhaps. <laughs> we also found, of course, a pup. I always find the animals. They come to me, I tell you. 
And we also saw their cool traffic lights. Their traffic lights have countdowns, which is awesome. Then you know how long you have to wait. You can kind of gauge it in your mindset. So it would tell you how long this green line was going to last or how long this red light was going to last. As well as on the ground, there were a whole bunch of little lights that were about four or five inches apart, and they'd flash the color of the light, whether it be red or green. So I thought that was really useful and very interesting. I'm sure it wouldn't hold up against snow plows in Canada and the northern part of the states, but very neat nonetheless. We also saw the grocery store and I took a picture of the cereal that I loved in Turkey, a chocolate coated sort of Kellogg's cornflakes, delicious. They also had some interesting things like stuffed zucchini, which is canned, and they also had jams which I'd never heard of. They had a date jam as well as a fig jam, which I could see being very yummy, but obviously I haven't been able to try it yet. A little bit after that, we cleaned our act up and then went upstairs for a safety meeting with the captain. We also had a couple appetizers like smoked salmon on these little multigrain pieces of bread and other things with eggs or other kinds of meats. We also got wine or mimosa. It was very nice. It was the captain's greeting party. And then we headed downstairs for a dinner. We had a seafood soup, which is very, very yummy, a Cleopatra salad, and then also you could choose from a kebab or a catch of the day. The catch of the day was delicious, and it had sort of an orzo pasta with it, which apparently was a couscous, just a thicker cut couscous, but it reminded me of orzo, which made me very happy. Apparently after dinner there will be a belly dancer, so I might have a part two to this video. So the belly dancing was awesome! The girl was amazing, and I love that belly dancing is one of the few dances that having a bit more meat on you makes it that much better because you see that much more of the movement. <laughs> And uh, I actually got invited up to dance as well, and everyone is very impressed, and it seemed to go well, so that was exciting. And then there was a male dancer that came out and did a dervish dance, with lights and everything, it was wonderful. I'll put all the footage onto a Billy Dancing on the Cruise Ship video, but I will have shown a couple clips here that you will have all seen. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye!